Welcome back to Gyro Dynamics. Okay, so I'm going to do a uh, relatively quick recap of the NXT results um, from Stand and Deliver from this past Friday. Uh, wait, Saturday. Saturday morning. And, uh, and then my next video, I'm going to do the uh, WrestleMania review. And uh, I just kind of wanted to touch on it before I started this one because this will be the shorter one. My uh, overall ranking plummeted. Um, from, I think I was 14th in 14th position, or tied for 14th, a lot of people were in, you know, a lot of the positions are tied just based on the points, but anyways, tied for 14th, dropped all the way down to 26th in the Wrestle League this year, didn't do very good this weekend, but I enjoyed it, had a great time, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so at the event, uh, oh, I got out of it, all right, let me go into the event for NXT. I thought I already did this. Sorry about that. Okay, so stand and deliver. We will go ahead and we will start with the uh, um, Joe Gacy versus Sean Spears match. This is one of the ones that I got wrong. Um, unfortunately, for some reason, they decided to have Sean Spears lose again. Um, and uh, I guess... We're basically going to see him play the role of, you know, just father. He, his character is a little bit more um, developed, but uh, but it seems like they basically just want him to be a guy helping other people, train other people, you know, um, give other people good matches. But it's not going to be his storyline moving forward. And so, yep, I guess Sean Spears lost. I really wasn't expecting that. But hey, maybe they'll do something with Joe Gacy now. <laughs> Because, yeah, he's he's had some uh, some of the same type of storylines, getting beat up a lot, losing a lot. So we'll see what happens with that. All right, so I got that one wrong. Then there was the six-woman tag team match between Thea Hill, Fallon Henley, and Kalani Jordan versus JC Jane, Kiana James, and Izzy Dame. Um, oh, by the way, the uh, previous match I think was on the... Um, the uh, the kickstart show or whatever it's called because I don't remember seeing it when I watched the event. I had to go look for the results, so maybe it was on some sort of kickstart show or whatever, some sort of intro show. Anyways, Joe Gacy, Joe Gacy won. Um, all right, for the six-woman uh, match, I got that one right. Thea Hill, Fallon Henley, and Kalani Jordan won that match. It was a decent match. I mean, you know, nothing, nothing too, wasn't expecting too much from it, and it, it, it did all right. I don't know what it was supposed to do, but it was all right. All right, let's go ahead and go to the NXT North American Championship match. Um, this is the other match that I got wrong. So I did better on Stand and Deliver than I did on WrestleMania. Still, overall, wasn't a great weekend for me as far as predictions go, but that's okay. Uh, I got this one wrong. Um, I figured that... They could easily have Obafemi win this match, so I'm not surprised by the result, but I really wanted Dijak to win. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but he did. I don't think he took the pin. I think uh, Josh Briggs took the pin, so maybe Dijak will get another shot. Maybe he'll finally win that championship. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, I got this one wrong. All right, the rest I got right. Let's take a look. So we got the uh, North uh, NXT Tag Team Championship match, the Wolf Dogs versus Axiom and Nathan Frazier. Um, the Wolf Dogs won. Uh, I was anticipating they win. I anticipate them moving up to um, SmackDown still, though. Very possibly, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that during the WrestleMania recap. But, uh, but I, I think they're going to move up to SmackDown. Because they're supposed to, so we shall see. But they won this match. I was a little surprised that they won the match, but at the same time, I predicted that they would win, so not terribly surprised. Um, and yeah, it's it's just not in the cards for Axiom and Nathan Frazier, but they're getting a rematch, I think, tonight on NXT. So that may change. They may win. I don't know why they wouldn't have won at the premium live event and then win on the NXT show, but that's what could happen. Honestly, I think the Wolf Dogs are probably just going to you know, hold on to the title for a little while longer, bring it on to SmackDown, use that to get a title shot. Anyways, Wolf Dogs won, got that one right. Uh, then we have the uh, NXT Women's Championship match. I predicted that uh, Roxanne Perez would win that one. 
Um, and Roxanne Perez did win that one. So very cool. Very cool. I was expecting her to win. I was not. And I think I may do a Raw review. We'll see. We'll see. I'm watching it right now, actually. I stopped to film this video. Um, but it's my understanding that she shows up on the Raw um, on Raw and, win, and has a match that she wins. So... They're still bringing her up to the main roster here and there, but uh, she'll be the NXT Women's Champion for a while. All right, two more matches. Got these ones right, too. We'll go ahead and do them in the order that they happened. Um, NXT Championship, Illa Dragunov versus Tony D'Angelo. Um, I was a little surprised they didn't main event with this, but not completely because the other story was the big story. But... Um, Still a little surprised. NXT, uh, NXT is a little more traditional, so I just anticipated them having this as the main event. But Ilya defeated Tony D'Angelo. I figured that would happen. But the weird thing is, um, kind of like with Roxanne Perez, they also had Ilya go ahead and show up on um, the Raw after WrestleMania, have a match, and even win that match. So it looks like maybe he is coming to the main roster. We shall see. Um, I thought he needed a little bit more time, but we shall see. Um, but he is still the champion. I anticipate him being champion for a little while longer. All right. And then the final match, uh, Carmelo Hayes versus Trick Williams. And of course, Trick Williams won this match. Um, I predicted that, so got that one right. Um, and it was such a joy to watch this match. It was a great match. Um, I'm a big fan of Trick Williams. I think he's, uh, he's entertaining. Um, I love his entrance, uh, his wrestling is improving, and I think he's definitely going to do some big stuff in the future, but so is Carmelo Hayes, I just think Carmelo Hayes is more ready to already do that now, <laughs> so he will be moving up to the main roster very shortly, I'm actually really surprised he didn't show up on Raw, if he didn't, I don't know, I haven't watched the whole thing, but I, from seeing news and stuff, I didn't see anything about him, but I would not be shocked if he showed up on SmackDown, because why not? SmackDown would be a good spot for him too, but he's ready for the main roster and they really should move him up. All right, so that was the event. I went, uh, I got two wrong. So how many were there all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches. So I went five and two, um, enjoyed the show greatly. Um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I, uh, I'm looking forward to the next event. I'm looking forward to NXT tonight to see how, see how everything plays out moving forward. Um, and then there will be a draft in April or later this month, I think. So we could be seeing a lot of these talents move up to the main roster because of the draft, too. Some that will move up to the main roster and we'll never see them again. <laughs> Hopefully that was just a uh, McMahon era thing. But I think the last draft, Triple H still had a hand in it. Um, and there's some wrestlers that are up on the main roster that we have never seen. All right. Anyways. We'll look forward to the draft. We'll do some prediction videos on that. Everybody take care. Have a good day.